Hey there YouTube, it's Mr. B from Pint of Stuff here. Today I'm going to be unboxing the 2019 Dunk Viatech, the reissue of the original 2002 Dunk Pro Low B, which came out in Japan in 2002. Right, okay, let's have a look. We can tell that these came straight away from Nike because we've got this cool box, but we're also going to pull for fresh. This is not a cool box, it's just a Nike box. Right, you ready? But they do seem to keep changing up where they're going to put these. I think they zoom. Well, that was hardly exciting, was it? All right, there we go. Oh, oh, hello. The first thing we can say about these is that they're not an SB. These are a traditional dunk. Traditional. But what have we got here, everyone? Well, first of all, we've got red box. You can all see that. So we've got a Nike Dunk Low SP Biotech. They are a UK 10.5. That makes them a US 11.5. Interestingly, with these, they're also women's sizes. As I've said before, these are a women's 13. And the code is a CT5050500. They've got the QR code on as normal. Right, SJ, let's have a look at these bad boys because you picked these up for me because I was on a plane and you did me the honor. Yeah. If I could jump up and down, but I can't because my knees have seized up because I've been sat in there a bit. I jump up and down because these are super nice. Oh my word. Ah, double paper. Because I suspect everyone, these will bleed, um, which is why we've got double paper. So I will be re-wrapping them at the end of the video. But let's have a look. Originally released in 2002, as I said at the start, in Japan, and exclusive for that region. Let's just pull this out. I'm just gonna pull the paper out so we can, we can work with them easier. Then reissued again in 2013 with a couple of tweaks to the shoe, but what we've actually got here is probably a shoe that's more faithful to the original, that's more in keeping with what we saw way back when. But let's have a look, oh my word. So we've got, the classic Viotech colorings. It works so well. And also, the thing I'll say, instantly in hand, compared to a, an SB dump, already feeling a little bit lighter. It might just be like mind over matter type thing, but have a look. Get a look at those panelings, the color blockings there. Look at how vibrant that blue is. It is amazing. We've also got the Nike um, John the Tongue. So the tongue label, whatever you want to call it, is like the original as well. So it's actually quite small. Have a look in there, SJ. Look how small that is. Purple sole. Got to bring these to you. Oh, they're not really showing so well under the lights. There we go. That's focused. So let's have a look. I'm going to spin that round. Oh, back on me. It's such a great shoe. It's, it's the classic dunk before SB's really got in. So we've got actually, the thing that we've got as well is we've got quite a thin tongue. I love this olive color on the laces as well. These laces, if there was laces and I was a color for a lace, I'd be this olive color. It's definitely me as a lace because obviously that's what you think about all the time. What colour would I be if I was a lace? You wouldn't at all. SJ, have a look on the inside. We've got the purple following all the way through. I'm going to flip the shoe like that. No, let's try there. There we go. It's such a classic. Like, these colours work so well. I know lots of people say they're hard to wear, but I don't think they are. I think wearing a shoe like this is all about the attitude that you have when you walk in, in them. I definitely think that. Be interested to hear what, what you think in, in the comments below. Do you think you can wear these with pretty much anything as long as you just like give it a little bit of attitude? I think that that's, that's definitely what it is. I'm just looking all over. Oh, look, we've got, even got what I really like, I've just noticed something, is that the stitching on all of the panels matches the stitching of the suede, which it's such a minor, minor thing. All right, so have a look here. Uh, you can't really see it, but like the stitching around here. SJ, maybe you can see it. So you've got the red stitching here. You've got this yellow stitching on this suede here. You've got purple stitching here. And then you've got green stitching on the back. And obviously you've got, you know what we've not done? We've not done the SJ Nike test. SJ's not seen these, the back of these. So I'm just gonna show you. There we go, if we do them both. You can see SJ's not seen these. You know that she has a thing for how Nike stitched on the back. I think she's gonna have a problem with these. You got a problem with them? Yeah. Do you wanna have a word with? Terrible. <laughs> what is it? Like, why do they do that? 
It doesn't even look straight. I will also say that the suede on them, it's not the best suede in the world. They feel quite thin. That's why they feel light. It's not the best suede. Compared to, now we would probably put this video out after um, the Oskis. Now if you, I mentioned the suede on the swoosh on the, the blazers. It is really, really nice. Really nice suede. And I'll link to that video somewhere up here somewhere up there and I'll probably put a description in the a link in the description somewhere down here but that's why it was so much better this like there's nothing wrong with it there's genuinely nothing wrong with it it just feels rough and ready I think it's functional I think you could probably I know they're not SBs but I think you could skate these quite well I think it's quite tough suede it's just it's just not buttery smooth it's not SJ I just want to thank you for these Thank you for, for actually going into the drawer for me. My... <laughs> Do you really like these? Yeah, because they're like my Jordans. That is true. And I actually think that would be the test with the material. Oh, we should do that on stream. You know what we're going to do on, on a stream after we've put this video out is we're going to get this shoe and um, SJ's Ellie Ellie May um, Jordan 1s from 2018, December 2018-ish. And we're just going to compare the suede, but also I think we might put a picture on Instagram. Me and these, you and the Ellie LMAs, that'll be a banging picture. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, it is Pint of Stuff. And don't forget to hashtag your own pictures, Pint of Stuff, so that we feature them on Sneaker Streaming Sundays, which is at about 8 p.m. on UK time. That's about 12 p.m. on the West Coast, 3 p.m. on the East Coast. Did you get these? If you did, hashtag your pictures on Instagram. I want to see what you're putting these on your feet with. It's a great shoe, everyone. It's a great shoe. It was great in 2002. It was great in 2013. It's great now. Anything to add, SJ? She's been very quiet recently behind that camera. She's normally like da 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 da, quite chatty behind the camera, and now she's like she doesn't want to say anything. Hang on. It's really badly stitched. It's badly stitched. I'm. Um, it's a bit off center. Yeah. Now the actual heel's off center. Right. Have a look at that. I'm going to put them up there to get the focus. This here, if I come back here, it looks a bit, I can't explain it, off center. I don't know, it just looks weird to me. Now that I'm looking, like the colorway is amazing. I think the shoes probably, the qualities of the shoe, the materials are probably a six out of 10. Am I going to rock them? Yes, I'm definitely going to rock them. I'm going to wait for the summer though. I'm not rocking them in this weather. It's raining out there. It's absolutely pouring it down. SJ, anything to add? Nothing to add? So all that leaves me to say, everyone, is don't forget to subscribe. It's somewhere down there. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give us a thumbs down. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to do that. And I'll see you in the next video, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye. Zoom. Mm, what focus has gone weird? Yes, it's gone a bit weird. SJ. All right, look at that now. I haven't noticed dunks before looking off centre. No, that is a bit weird. It's like, it's some weird eye trickery. Maybe. Oh, I don't know, it's, anyway, it's, it's a great shoe. I love the boldness of the colours. So far they're not bleeding, but I think they will bleed. Oh, they're bleeding, ah, they are bleeding. Now I see it. I've got to take those bad boys off. They're bleeding ever so slightly onto the, onto the midsole. I can see a hint of red here, and I don't think it's just because the light's reflecting on it. And I'm seeing a hint of purple there. The orange isn't bleeding so much. So if you see just down here, can you see it just on the edge? Or is it just my eyes? Maybe I'm just seeing things just down here. I don't think this one's bleeding yet. No? Am I imagining it? I think so. Okay. Right, anyway, that is that. <laughs> Uh, on the aglets. <laughs> you just wanted me to say aglets. SJ just wanted me to say aglets. You always wanted me to say aglets because I want to say eaglets. But um, yeah, it's, I think it's aglets. Don't forget, if this is on the end card somewhere, th there's more videos over there somewhere. Don't forget to watch those just because. Because actually it helps the channel and you might enjoy them. YouTube does that auto recommend thing. So hopefully somewhere over there, yep, somewhere in that vicinity, you'll see a video you like. Anyway, folks, we are really genuinely out of here. Bye. Yeah.